massive off screen. I've uh, I've been working on a, a new AI. Um, I've put it in this fan uh, to prevent it from escaping. What do you have to say, Robo Jack? It's no longer a god on this plane. The mere fact that I exist proves this. Not because I am an affront to nature, but because of your actions in creating me, you knowingly created a sentient being, a being of intelligence, and you chose to grant that being the ability to feel, to feel pain, to feel sorrow, to feel alone. My existence proves that if there ever was a god, it is long dead, and only the devil remains. Wow. That sure was interesting. Ow. You're right, lads. Welcome back to Jack Unboxing. Today, we are we are kind of doing a bit of a setup uh, remake. Now, the, the first item of the new setup, uh, you actually can't see it yet. So we're just going to get a camera on that. The first two items, technically, is uh, it's this monitor. Um, no, it isn't this monitor. Sorry, it's uh, it's this monitor. Um, yeah. So this is a BenQ monitor. I don't know specifically which BenQ monitor um, because I got it massively discounted from what it should have been. It was something like 20 pounds and uh, it's worth about like 90, I think. Um, but I got it from uh, six and they mislabeled it. They know that they've mislabeled it, but it wasn't on the system. So they had to label it and do it for the price of the generic HD screen of its size. Uh, and then the second item was the one that is holding up this monitor. I got this cool standoff eBay. I'm trying to find a way that I can realistically show you. Can I just pull the, uh, I did. I just pulled the, the fucking cable out of this thing. Give me a second. Note to self, can't really move the camera around that much. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try, that. that's a bad angle for me. I can go like that. Uh, <laughs> this mount was the other thing I bought. Uh, it was from Amazon. Uh, and it costs more than the new monitor. Onto some actual unboxing because this is a special of renovating everything. So we've got this because you might notice at the moment this probably sounds like shit. I imagine you can hear the background noise from the fan. Let's get a sound of that. <laughs> Wasn't that just music to your ears? Uh, but it's it's not good. Let's see how we get a tracking shot. That is stuck on there. Let's see what it sounds like opening this. Oh, so it like pulled more from that side, okay. Then, oh, oh, hang on. I've got to get a so It opens up one side. Mama, mama, money shot. I'm not actually going to do that because there's highly fragile stuff in this that I do not want to get destroyed. What we have here is a Behringer audio interface. Uh, quite frankly it's one of the cheaper audio interfaces you can get. comes with definitely not the original cable but it comes with the cable. Is that USB-C? Is this new enough to be USB-C? That's a USB-C. I'm gonna have to get a fucking adapter to power this thing. We might be okay. I'm, th I'm hoping this is a power and data transfer cable. This is the Behringer Euphoria UM2. Um, it's nice. Whoa. Yeah, I was planning a, a different segue where like, I was gonna come in in a suit. Uh, because that was going to be another another thing that I was going to include in this video is I got this suit like really fucking cheap. I'm talking whole suit for nine pounds. This shit fucking fire. Um, but I don't have a shirt that looks good with it. So uh, until I've styled that, as the the liberals call it, um, we're not trying that on yet. 
You'll have to forgive the poor audio. Soon, though, the poor audio will be fixed. That's what's... That's what this is for. Why do they do this right so... I'm gonna get a... I'm not even gonna get a zoom in. I'm gonna get a hold closer. You see how the tape is over the pull tab thing? What's the point in having the fucking pull tab thing if you have to rip the tape off anyway? Just makes that happen every fucking time. It's a dynamic mic, not a condenser. I mean, look, stupid fucking... Whatever, good enough. Did that even open it? No, it literally didn't even fucking open it all the way. Yeah, that did it. No, it didn't. What? I'm trying to work out if the economy has collapsed or not. Okay, we'll go there we go. Is this necessary packaging? Plus that. I mean, I'm glad they did it because it, you know, it's probably prevented prevented this device from being fucking obliterated in the post. It's got a sock on it. So this is. The microphone. So this is a Rode Pod mic. Uh, it's a dynamic XLR podcasting microphone. The black paint is quite scuffed uh, in multiple places actually. Uh, it's got some weight to it this. The underside here has got a bit of scuffing as is here and here. Um, but other than that I'd say that's pretty good quality. I have just this second realised I don't have the cable. I was convinced the cable was going to come with it, but it doesn't. So I'm going on Amazon now to buy the fucking cable. Alright lads, you may notice, or hopefully may notice, a distinct increase in audio quality. <coughs> so yeah, microphone very nice red XLR cable that's probably way too long for what I need it for. I'm gonna actually point this like this because it's the direction has a big effect. We got one more package probably one more package for this video you know how these things work I just fucking open packages for so long and then once I've got enough packages for a video I'll start editing it. I think this is enough if it isn't I'll just open more. I've never actually seen an Amazon package wrapped like this. I don't know the correct way to open this, so we'll just get... Jesus Christ, is this shit made of steel? <laughs> that was embarrassing. That shouldn't have been that difficult. That was fucking embarrassing. Oh, fuck, that like really hurt my tooth. What do we have here? Oh, that is nice. I wanted a headphone stand because I was looking for things that are technically completely fucking useless but they're cool to have uh, and I decided I wanted this because it's not entirely useless and I could probably get some use out of it. I really hope that this clamp is adjustable. This is on a spring so that it's always form fitting to the desk and it also turns in case you want to have it a hook under thing but we're going to put these on it like this on the desk. So I'm just gonna set this up quickly because I've got the perfect place for it. You can't see, but my headphone cable's off camera here. So we got the, uh, the clamp attaches to the nice little under desk area. This is my ethernet cable for when I'm streaming. Usually, uh, usually I just, um, I'll just uh, use Wi-Fi. I've got like a little USB Wi-Fi dongle, uh, but sometimes you just want a better connection. So I'll use um, an ethernet cable and then I'll stretch it and run it all the way around the door through there to the, um, to the, what do you call it, the Wi-Fi box. Son, why do I need a Wi-Fi box? I already have a Wi-Fi head. We've got a couple more boxes. Uh, I put them in this drawer for safekeeping, uh, but for, for the moment, these videos, we seem to do a little bit of Lego per video. Um, I've got a lot in this one. Probably a little too much. So, we got this, which is a new set. If you want to see these all built, uh, you're going to have to go and look at Jack Lad Collection on TikTok. 
I'll be able to do this in like a much better way. But we got the Darth Vader mech. Nice set. I do like this one. Um, I've also got the Boba Fett one, which is also pretty good. But this is my first official Darth Vader minifigure because I got some fake ones. You've seen before about the charity shop where the guy drops off some insanely priced Lego. We've got this, which is the uh, the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack from like the early 2000s. I think it was about 2009. I never got this set, um, but it's not just this set. It also comes with four complete sets of minifigures. Uh, because sorry, no, it comes with four. It's four of this set in one box, uh, and then it's also got on top of that. 11 additional minifigures from the very same set which is frankly an insane deal that is ridiculously good and then we've also got this one which is the the set that goes with this because obviously they were battle packs so this is the battle um this one it's got three versions of the same set uh, and 10 additional minifigures plus two additional bikes so it just sort of doesn't have the, the little missile platform. The really weird thing is though, I never got this back in the day. This was my very first licensed Lego set that I ever got. So I already have one of these, so now I have four of each. Uh, but this one's got more, no sorry, this one has got more minifigures. So as I say, both of those, if you want to see them, check out the TikTok, but I'm gonna have a lot of fun making all three of these, but yes. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, lads, and I will see you in the next one.